CFM's Blind Date with Jason and Susan. This has got the Gold Coast talking on 13, 12, 16. Okay, we've gone into the room and got the couple out of the date because uh, just so you guys know, uh, it's been a little bit... Some of the stuff, Jason, that you've been saying has been a little bit... Um, uh, uh, people have reacted to it. Uh, Liz, that Jason said... Jason, uh, correct <laughs> me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Did you not mention within your date that your thoughts are of women over the age of late 30s, 40s, are too old to have children? Yes, I agree you said with complications, um, but that you think that it's just too old because they'll be too old when the child turns into their teens. Yes, I did example. say that. If you took that as black and white, yes, I did say that. Yes, well, it was stated, so that is black and white. <laughs> um, so you're not happy with that thought? No, Liz, I'm because? not happy with that thought pattern, Jason. For the simple reason there is... Um, you gave the impression uh, that the people over that age cannot um, possibly have children or cope with the children as well as somebody in their 20s or 30s. Ah, uh, I see. No, that was sort of more my personal preference if I was to find a partner that would be over the, that age and um, have a child. So I'm thinking for my family and me down the track that we should be 47, he'd be 10 years old, and if I'm still running around and the mum's not being able, being able to keep up. Oh, okay. Why, why the mum? What, what makes you think you wouldn't be able to keep up? <laughs> Ah, uh, because of my lifestyle. You, you seem to be always generalising towards the female, not keeping up. No, that's just my personal opinion. Oh, okay. Well, I think your personal opinion stinks, and I think you'll find the female will keep up. Yeah, my my stepfather, he's uh he's fifty fifty one, I think, this year, and um he's got he's got a few kids. Um, he's we've got he's got uh two sons and three daughters. Uh, two of the two of them are seventeen, <clears throat> and the other two are about twelve and the youngest doesn't live with him. But I'm 23 and I'm his stepson as well. And, uh, mate, he keeps up fantastic. And so does my mum. Well, she's not as old as him, but, oh, I just can't believe how much he, he does. He works 12, 13 hours a day, takes the kids to work, you know, gets them to school. Mate, he is an absolute champion. So you're batting for me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, uh, what you're trying to say is that, the, that parent, your age he's limit, he's, he's saying, is not necessarily correct. He's saying that uh, at 47, there are still plenty of people that can actually run mm. around and I, chase I, after their kids. I agree. I, that's what I'm going to be like when I'm 47, 57 kind of thing. Yeah. Well, that's without breaking a leg, so to speak. Yeah. But yeah. But you're expecting maybe that a, a female of the same age wouldn't be able to handle it? Um, no, I'm not saying that. I'm okay. saying if I found a, if I found a partner now and she wanted to have a child, well, mm. then I'd be thinking, okay, I'm going to make sure that she can handle it. Yeah. When when the child's getting to his teenage years, that yeah. Okay. That. That's just me. Yeah. No, no, we're giving you a chance to actually answer. No, answer no, no. Mr. Mora, I'm yes. 43 years old. Yes. And I mean, I I still keep up with the 21 year olds, and I you know I leave them behind. But what this <laughs> what I'm finding is, I mean. I'm remarried. My oldest one is 16 years old. My youngest one, he's, he's three. I'm running around with him. I mean, believe me, his age has got nothing to do with it. Yeah. And if this dude is a personal trainer, if you're making a woman feel that good or that bad about herself, he's got no chance. Aww. Seriously. I mean, you know, obese, I mean, that is part of your personal training, mate, to make women feel good even though they're big. Even kids are big. I think You're just so contradicting yourself. No, no, no. I think people are taking it the wrong way. I'm saying that if I was to ha have a family with an older woman, I'd be going for like someone like yourself, a personal trainer, someone who can keep up. People are obviously taking it that I'm generic or generalising everybody mm -hmm. that they can't keep up. I'm saying yeah. these are the, the but options. But I don't that think so your first date should be relevant to what the age limit should be or what the kids should be looking like. I mean, that is so wrong, honestly. If I was...